Hi, how's everyone doing? I'm doing my uh, top 10 figures for the year of 2019. And um, actually, I right now in front of you, I have some um, some runner-ups that didn't make my list. And uh, I'll, I'll explain why. But uh, yeah, these are the top uh, 10 figures. Uh, I just want to start like everybody starts their own uh, list. Is, you know, these are my figures and, you know, my opinions. And everybody has their own. And, you know, some you may not agree, but, yep. Also, since it's my list, uh, some figures didn't come out this year, but I did get it this year. So, that to me is a 2019 list. Okay. So, first off, you know, just, these are no particular order, but, you know, they didn't make the top 10. So, it's uh, right here with um, Android 17 for Dragon Ball Super. Uh, it's good, but, I mean, um, it... it it just goes to show you how like a third third party company is starting to have uh make figures you know just as well as uh, uh the monocle fit is doing their own thing i don't know what company was this one but it was a pretty good one but it's just the joints are just super they're just hard to move and these hands they they don't fall off but i mean just moving them around makes them just they come off easily i guess okay we also have this um Optimus Prime build figure that I just did a few um, Maybe two days ago. Um, it's pretty good. Just the articulation is not so good because uh, You know, it's a build figure. So it's not gonna move as well as or articulate as well as a um, a Revo tech or a Figma SH figure arts, but yeah, I like it for what it is. Uh, I haven't posted as much So I don't know the extent of it, but I know it's not going to bend so well but you know it's still nice to have an Optimus Prime especially since I I'm not that into Transformers but this was really cheap and you know it was a fun build and I couldn't pass it up and I need I needed to have an Optimus Prime in my collection all right this um Mesco Punisher Netflix Punisher really great figure literally the only reason why it's not on my top 10 is because of the neck the neck is the worst thing usually most figures in any company you take off the head and you know the neck's still there but with this thing it's just a whole neck and I don't mean I don't know who would like that but it's it's pretty annoying to post it you can just look up and down I mean it's 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 um it's hard to um post it for certain stuff and yeah literally that's the only reason why it's it's not on the top 10 list but yeah just the neck and I've been wanting to get the Mesco Joker, but I know I heard or actually seen the neck is just like this. So it's kind of, you know, it's making me hold on to maybe we'll get uh, the new Joker movie uh, Mesco or uh, SH figures at some point. And yeah, but yeah, that's why uh, Bulma, um, she's only on here because, I mean, she's a, a good character. I just bought her, so I haven't posted her as much, but how could she not make the list? I mean, look at it. It's so, it's so it's just a detail and just to, I'm so glad that they made this one and on, on, on top of making the other one that they did for the SH figure arts, figure arts Dragon Ball collection. But I mean, this is like the go-to one that, and, uh, I think she had, I don't know what else other outfit she had on, but I mean, this is the one that introduced us to her back in Dragon Ball, but yeah, this one. All right. So this um, um, Wolverine, Logan, you know, Weapon X, whatever you want to call it, uh, great figure. Only reason why it's on here is because um, uh, the all mask head, it's just so big and it's so bad. I wish it would have made uh, another one with uh, him screaming with, uh, you know, with this thing on. And I know some um, custom people have done those, but... Um, I haven't brought I haven't brought myself to go buy one of those, or I kind of have a way that I can do it, but I think I would mess up the other head. But I don't know. But that's it. I think you're gonna find that in a lot of my um my choices of what what made the list is because um more accessories, I guess you could say, or maybe just head related issues because. I mean, it's pretty easy to think about it. If you have different heads, you can post it differently. You have more options for it. So, yeah, that's why these are not in the top 10. So, all right, we'll start with the number 10. 
and I'm gonna bring him into the shot and then take him out so since some of my top figures are a little bit big so number 10 is SH the SH figure are Sakura let me see Okay, yeah, um, if anybody ever saw my um, room tour, it's, I always said, how could you, you always have to have some Street Fighters in your collection. They make great background people or just, if, it, if there ever needs to be a shot where people need to be fighting Street Fighters, it's in their name. It's, it's an easy go-to figure when I have to have a shot of like a girl somewhere on, on there or maybe a girl in, in distress, you know, running away, but yeah. And always fighting something and you know it's easy to pose it's it's a pretty good figure um so yeah number 10 okay so number nine and this is why I, um i started saying about the faces or you know heads it's the sh figure arts come on okay uh, the SH figure arts uh, Gogeta, um, great figure, great movie, you know, anytime there's a good movie, uh, you like it for the figure to be great, you know, that, that'll look just like the movie and, you know, they nailed it on here, it's pretty good, uh, pose is so good, especially when you have it right next to any Dragon Ball uh, Super, and especially the Broly. Um, and the reason why it's, uh, it's on here and not higher is because um uh, what's it called whenever they released it they didn't give us all more faces you could say so you know i did go the other route and i got the demonical fit one demonical fit yeah that one and so yeah i have all the heads for it but i don't know just something about it it's it, it just wouldn't go up higher on my list because somebody else took it from the movie and you know you'll see it later but like i said the more faces or um, yeah, face expressions a company gives us, it's the higher I feel like people would place them because more possibility, especially in this community. Okay. All right, the number eight figure is one that may be in everyone's list. I think it was, it came out last year, but like I said, I got it this year. So it's the Infinity War Hulk. I mean, just like I said it came with three faces it poses so well you can move him around and do crazy uh, poses with him I mean and I mean before that we had like we've always had the Marvel Legends Hulks and then we had the Figma Hulk and then the SH figure arts uh, I think it's uh, the, the Avengers one the second one Hulk anyways there I've seen them I, I've never um, really had them in hand but, um, well, actually, no, I had a bootleg uh, Figma Hulk, and, you know, if there was any indication what the other one looked like, it's the torso right here. This one is, it's so important for Hulk to be, be able to move that, too, for, I mean, he's punching something on the ground. You want to be able to do that. Or raising hell, his fist. I don't know, but it's, it's such a good figure. And not to mention, um, I did just buy the Beta Ray Bill Marble Legends, and it comes with two of the Hulk faces for the built figure and with some fine angling they, they fit right here on the head so well so you can have the Professor Hulk from Endgame on here if you want so that's a little bonus like I said faces they make a lot of the difference I guess for my decisions and I guess without even realizing that's that's one of them here next one is a figure that to me, I didn't even think I would get, but I had a $20 gift card for, um, that, uh, Think Geek, and I just saw it, and I put it down, and then this couple came, and they just were looking at it for so long, I was like, why did I put it down? Should have gotten it. It's a figure that it, it completes anybody's collection that's trying to get this, uh, this group together from the 90s, and you'll see. That is Nightcrawler. Such a great figure. I mean, for it to be a Marvel Legends and to be able to have so much articulation and, you know, move so many ways. And also the hand, it comes with other hands to be able to hold his sword. And like I said, it comes with three freaking face expressions. And 
who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want him just hanging out mad and then there's like a weird looking one, but it's so good. I, I feel like it's mainly because I like it because it completes more of my um, um, X-Men collection and not just that, but at a bonus, it's such a good figure and it's it has great articulation. I mean, just look at him. Just That's how I have him in display and he looks so good. So yeah, that is number seven. The next one, let me see my list. Okay, the next one, this one had to make my list because even though I haven't posted yet or haven't, I have, honestly, I haven't even put any pictures of it yet on my Instagram. It's the um, thousand, po thousand points, sorry, yeah, thousand, hundred, Hellboy, yeah, people on the, um, it's, uh, it's on here because, um, I told it in my, uh, room tour um this is one of the you ever i think everybody's seen those on instagram those um toy raffles and i'm like okay well let me try this it's seven dollars you know let's see and i literally happened to wake up whenever uh i think it's boog acba that was uh raffling it and i happened to like watch it live as i won so that was pretty cool to me so that is one, uh, I guess it's a reason why it's on my list. I mean, also it's a hell of a figure. I mean, just, just look at the detail. It's so good. I, I don't know where to post it yet or what pictures. I haven't had an idea for it yet, but I will. I have to, it's such a great figure. And I mean, just the hand, the jacket, it comes, um, on par with like any Mescos that come out, I feel like, um, I saw the Mesco Hellboy they're doing, but I'm not really uh, intrigued by it that much. But just this one, just having this one alone is so good. So, yeah, that's literally why it's on my list. Just because of nostalgia, because of how I got it, you could say. So, yeah. So, you know, everybody has different reasons for their list, and that's why for me, for this one. Okay, so the next one is second some that i feel like not most people not much people have respect for or they don't care much about it but it is give me a second oh no 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 that's number four hang on yeah i was getting ahead of myself this is number five right here broly um great figure everybody has been wanting a power down broly and i feel like this isn't the power down Broly that everybody wants yet. It's you know I feel like the power the power one, the power one is a little bit skinnier. But I feel like that's more of a movies one, the one back in the day. But just everybody has been wanting just a chill Broly, one that's not fully powered, not the legendary Super Saiyan. And you know SH Figure Arts gave them to us with this one. Not only that, you know they gave us like three freaking faces for it. The the regular one, the Azora power one and I feel and then the Super Saiyan one and I mean that's three figures in one right there that like I said when the company gives you more faces options you get more for your buck and you get more figures to display I mean honestly if you're doing um, different shots then you may have to buy more figures I, I don't know if anybody gets that but just this it's so good it's so nice to finally have a deep power bro you one that you can just I mean, just put next to other ones, um, let me see, other, like, figures, like a D-Power Goku, Vegeta, uh, Vegeta, Gohan, you know, they don't always have to be angry, like, with the, um, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. That one almost made my list, but it's just, this one came in, and it's, it's just so much better, I feel like. It has more posing options than just being angry all the time. And, you know, sometimes you just want, maybe you want to have Broly in the background just walking around, and then, that's perfect for it. So, yeah. That one is number five. Okay, so this is the one I was talking about that not many people uh, have respect for or they don't like it that much, but I don't know, I like it. Especially because I feel like this is my most expensive figure that I've actually paid for. Let me see, come on. And that's one. All right, oh, maybe a little All right, the Mesco. Cyclops. I do have the Marvel Legends one. I've been trying to sell it, but nobody wants it. I don't know if anybody wants to let me know. Um, the Marvel Legends Cyclops, not this one. 
Anyways, just the, oh, and also if anybody is wondering, I've tried it and the Marble Legends head fits on this one. See, without thinking it, oh, I always bring it back to changing faces. Anyways, so yeah, just the detail. I wanted to, I've been building my 90s classic um, um, X-Men team and you know, I still need a few more, but you gotta have Cyclops. I feel like the main core that you have to have, or two of the main ones that I feel like you have to have, screw it, three of the main ones you have to have for the 90s one is uh, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Storm. Those are the a few ones that stand out a lot because they have their little, um, their uniform, you know, the white one for Storm, the, the yellow one, and obviously this one for uh, Cyclops. So yeah, it's it's it posts as well i feel like and you know it comes with the big blast effects that i've been wanting i've been seeing videos on how to make your own blast effects and then this one came out and i was like you know what let's just buy this one it looks better it comes with a, the two blast effects that i need and it comes with a screaming face who doesn't need who doesn't want that whenever you have a cyclops you know full power blast but yeah this one is number four yeah number four the next one is one that I thought would be higher, but like I said, you know, when you make your list, you're trying to think, why do I, why do I have this one in this position? Why is this one here? Try not to think too much, but this one, I think, I don't know how, if it makes sense, but it's lower on my list because of what I know the next one is going to be. I don't know. We'll see. So it is the Rebotech. Iron Man. This figure, it's so good. It's uh, it has so many. Uh, I thought whenever last year actually going back, I had a uh, Carnage in one of my top figures because I was like, they have so many options for it to you can post so many things you can do with his effects, and I'm and I was wondering how they're gonna do it again. That's not a symbiote. And sure enough, you know, Iron here comes Iron Man. He has all his um, his tech, his um. Uh, he has his rockets too, his little flight things here too. Uh, and it's also, I like how Rebel Tech is getting more and more to the point when you can just have him standing still, you know, just a regular position like that. And it, it makes sense. Before, if anybody has their f first figures, you know, Rebel Tech, uh, 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 Spider Man, if you stand him up straight, just plain pose, he looks so weird because Rebel Tech is meant to be articulated you know flying poses jumping poses attack and um while it's good you know you sometimes you just want to have a plain simple pose and i mean we will take gives you that now that can give you just standing place still or just flying like that or i mean i, I guess i could have play placed him in a, a crazier pose for the video but I, I guess i didn't think that far ahead but just we will take is just upgrading their um their figures more and more each year i'm just a little bit sad because um i noticed that they're 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 going away or not going away but they haven't announced many marble legends you know they're doing more of uh now the um, dc which is while it's great i haven't been collecting those at all and i just saw the review for the harley quinn one and it looks so nice and it makes me want to collect it but if i do the I feel like I gotta get Batman, I gotta get Deathstroke, and you know Joker's coming at some point. Probably Superman too. Who knows? Um, but no. Oh, and also, uh, when I was saying, looking into the future, if anybody's seen the, um, what's it called? The War Machine that's coming next next year, it's a must for anybody that doesn't have a War Machine, first of all, and that loves Rebel Tech. Because that thing just looks stacked. It has so much stuff, and even sitting plain and simple like I said it looks good so this is probably why this one it was higher it was a number two but something else came out this year that made it number two that made this one number three sorry but yeah Rebel Tech Iron Man number three so this next one is kind of a cheat sort of because it's I am I'm gonna be placing just one figure but it's actually more so you'll see so this next line, it just came out this year, I believe. Yes, it did. And uh, it came out of nowhere, I feel like. And a lot of people started buying these figures. And I was 
shocked because I never thought I would start getting into these type of figures. I feel like, you know, you pay more money because, you know, you want a more articulated figure. You want something that poses well. And then uh, here comes Lighting Collection Hasbro and they start giving us Power Rangers for $20, $25 maybe, $20, $25, 20 to $25. Uh, price and uh, right now I have the white the green the pink Lord Zed and um, Goldar uh, and like I said if anybody saw my um, video for my room tour I'm only collecting the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that's the one I grew up with and that's the one I know I honestly have no idea what the other ones are um, mm, I don't really have any plans of getting into those in the future because it's I feel like it's so many episodes and I won't, there's more stuff to do. I mean, if you like it, you know, good for you. I just, I haven't gotten into it, but these Mighty Morphin Power Rangers figures, lighting collection, they're so nice. They're so cheap and they pose so well. And I mean, come on, they even come with an unmasked head and, um, and a mask or, you know, the helmet, if, whatever you want to call it. And for $25, you can't go wrong for that figure, and it poses so well, and it matches the size for any other, um, most of your other figures, you know, your six inch figures. And what can I say? This one goes because it came out of nowhere for me, and I thought I would never start collecting something like that, because it reminds me of kind of like the Black Series. And while Black Series is good sometimes, I just don't get it because I'm like, eh, why do I need this figure? And sure enough, $25, good figure, makes your list, I feel like. So yeah, this, I guess this whole line in general is um, not just this figure, I guess mainly this one because this was my first one, but this whole Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, only those are my number two. So yeah. Last one is one that came out Not this year. I think it came out a few years ago. Maybe last year. I want to say I'm not too sure I should have researched it better But it's the figure I always said I started collecting my stuff when I started collecting I it was only um SH figure arts Figma and some Mafex Mafex whatever you want to call it and then I saw that Mesco company and I was like, oh cool, you know like but aren't I felt like they were too tall. I never saw them, but I, I, I was like, surely they have to be like taller than six six inches because they have like cloth um, pants or t-shirts, whatever, coats too. I'm like, surely they have to be tall because how are you gonna do that? And then one day I found a, a toy store and then I saw this figure. I was like, wow, I need to get it because I thought these figures were gonna be huge. And no, they're, if anybody actually collects Mesco, I thought they're, they're actually pretty good for the size and maybe sometimes even smaller than you would think. And so, yeah, um, it makes you, uh, you know, aware that you can start collecting these figures and they will fit perfectly with any uh, of your other ones. And, you know, also when shooting pictures, you know, um, depth effect or, you know, however you place it, you know, you can, you can easily have a six inch figure fighting with a nine inch one you know just the way that you place it but yeah so this one is my very first mesco that i bought and sure enough i started this whole avalanche of me buying all these other ones you know like Nef uh, daredevil and all the other ones that i have and it's also close to me because i am a huge fan of um old man logan that comic was so good and yeah i guess if anybody hasn't realized it by now i am obviously talking about Old Man Logan. Um, this is probably somebody's top 10 figure maybe last year or whenever it came out because it's so good. I mean, it poses so well. Um, you actually can take that shirt off if you want and, you know, he's ripped underneath. Pretty cool. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I don't mess with the figures that much. Not really a customizer or anything for that sense. But I mean, just standing like that. I mean, that is so badass, just for any shot. And I did do a shot with him standing like that, and I think I've skipped, I kept him like that. But just the possibility, I know Mesco doesn't um, maybe articulate as much as Ripple Tech or maybe some other ones, but I mean, just 
they they're I feel like they're at the very next step from being a uh, like those statue collectibles because they're so detailed, they're so nice, and they're still posable. So I mean, if you want a statue, yeah, go get a statue. But I mean, if you want the next thing and be able to move it, you know, fix it with your uh, the style or the image that you have in mind with two figures fighting, talking, hanging out, whatever. This is good. So it's like a figure that's shrunk that's posable because I know the Hot Toys does taller ones and they're really nice but I mean those things are like I want to say 200 I don't know if I'll ever get into that I, I, I doubt it but then again I did say <laughs> I'm never gonna get Mesco's I'm never gonna get a uh, Power Ranger whatever but here I am this year collecting more of figures that I never thought I would but yeah that's what this uh, hobby is, you know, just finding new ways of uh, entertaining yourself and, you know, keeping this hobby going as long as you want, you know, because who knows, maybe sometimes you might get bored of it and sell them, but as long as you don't and you keep finding more stuff that entertains you with it and, you know, just you stay afloat, you don't go broke. So I feel like I'm rambling, but yeah, just that's what I feel like this uh, hobby is too for most of us just finding sometimes you get bored of it so I mean just finding new ways to fall in love with this hobby again you know just finding more stuff finding more figures trading some who knows but yeah just keep doing this as long as it's fun for you and if it stops being fun then yeah just you know sell them off to the next person that's starting into this nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with um getting sick of something because that's just life but yeah so yeah that's my number one figure that's that went somewhere else anyway so oh i wanted to also do a little um random quick thing about um finding uh stuff around places uh, see like for example just real quick i found this thing at ikea it came with a bed and it was hang on came with this freaking bed no Deadpool though so I need everything the bed the cushions whatever and that it was seven dollars so you sometimes when you're at places you might find stuff that's you never thought you could find for like for your displays for backgrounds for stuff like this and you know who would have thought that I was gonna be at Ikea and I found this well, I mean, obviously it's for kids but you know it makes sense for the six inch world you know the photography also i found this at a bar just here it's like a trash can whatever trash bin i don't know um i asked the bartender hey you can i can i buy that off for you can i buy that from the bar he's like no just take it so you know it's just about finding stuff at places you never thought you could find for six inch stuff and so yeah that is my video i hope you guys liked it um I know I rambled on a little bit longer than I thought I would, but um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy.